minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engines full power, and lift off of Starlink 2-10, go Falcon, go Starlink. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 33 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California at 11.02 p.m. Pacific time. The next major milestone coming up is Max-Q. Power and telemetry is nominal. Max-Q is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Vehicle supersonic. Just heard a call out that Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Coming up next, we should hear that call out from Max-Q. Max -Q. And there's that call out, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stress. We are about one minute away from a series of events. MVAC engine chill has started. Those events are MECO, or main engine cutoff, stage separation, SES-1, or second engine start one, and then fairing separation. MECO is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Stage separation is when the first and second stages physically separate, and SES-1, or second engine start one, is when we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Following that is fairing separation, which is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. So let's keep an eye out for those events coming up very shortly. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we did just have successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, Fair and separation. second engine start one. You should have also seen that we did have successful fairing separation from the second stage. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel Go Beyond. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven, with one fairing half flying for its fifth time and the other fairing half flying for its seventh time today. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Looks like we don't currently have the video feed, but we are tracking telemetry, which you can see on the bottom left side of your screen of the first stage. And the MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which should last another four and a half minutes or so. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe.
You can see in the bottom right hand side of your screen, the second stage is now traveling over 11,000 kilometers per hour. The MBAC engine continuing to accelerate our payload into a low Earth orbit. Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 235th mission overall and the 36th mission just this year. Coming up next in the mission is the entry burn on the first stage. The entry burn is the first of two burns that the first stage will go through in preparation for landing. This burn should start in just about a minute or so. And again, we don't currently have video coverage of the first stage, but we are tracking it in the telemetry you see in the bottom left side of your screen. Now you can see on the left side of your screen is a view of the first stage coming up on entry burn in just around 15 seconds. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's that call out for stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also refer to as the booster, has now ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And there's the call out telling us that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. Coming up next is the landing burn on the first stage, which is the second and the final burn in preparation Vehicle for landing. continues on a nominal trajectory. You can see the atmosphere is scrubbing off a lot of the first stage's velocity right now. Stage one, transonic. And there's the call out that stage one is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound. Coming up on the landing burn in the first stage in just around 20 seconds. Terminal guides. Stage two FTS has saved. Stage one landing burn. There's the confirmation that stage one landing burn has started in preparation for a touchdown on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We should hear the call out for second engine cutoff in just a few seconds. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. This Falcon 9 first stage. Shutdown. The Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for the 14th time. And just after landing, we did hear the call out for second engine cutoff nominal one. Orbit insertion. And there's the call out for a nominal orbit insertion. Today's landing marks our 196th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with the confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that will wrap up our coverage for now. Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.